Awesome. Can everybody see and hear me all right? Excellent. Thank you. All right. So welcome, everybody, to the informatics session. Um, thanks for the nice introduction. Today, I plan to share some findings from the recently deployed usability and utility assessment. And so really, the study was motivated by two overarching goals, the first being to evaluate usability and utility in Neotoma's core data access and delivery components. And these are the Explorer interface, the Neotoma 2R package, and the API. And then the second goal is really to guide and prioritize future development efforts. We really want to better understand the extent to which these tools are supporting research and education, and ultimately where they fall short and can be improved moving forward. So the online, the online survey was available between February 27th and April 4th, so for about a month of this year, and was advertised primarily via the Neotoma Slack channel and Neotoma Google Group. And the study consisted of four parts with a mix of multiple choice, short answer, and Likert scale questions. And 20 members of the Neotoma community engaged in the study, completing parts of the survey that were most applicable to their use cases. And so part one of the study sought to establish demographic and professional profiles for the study cohort. So about 35% of participants were 25 to 45 years of age. The majority of participants were 45 or older. Just over half of participants identified as being male, while just under half of participants identified as being female or preferred not to respond. Most participants reported professional interests within the relevant domain sciences with an emphasis on paleoecology, unsurprisingly, right? And all participants reported being researchers, while eight of the 20 also identified as being an educator or just an educator. Only one participant identified as being a data scientist. On average, most respondents strongly agreed to possessing expertise in paleosciences and biogeography. Some would agree to being experts in earth system science and climate science and we're on average less confident in their abilities in data science and statistical modeling, and this sort of echoes the finding we saw from the previous slide. With respect to community membership, over three quarters of participants had been part of the Neotoma community for five plus years, while three participants were first year members. Per service usage trends, 19 of the 20 participants reported using Explorer, nine reported using Neotoma 2R package, and four participants indicated that they used the API. And this trend really aligns with the underlying goal of these services, right? Like Explorer is designed to serve a broad audience with easy data access, whereas the R package and API are designed to support a smaller group of more typical power users to enable advanced analysis, third-party application development, et cetera. So part two of the survey then dug deeper into the Explorer application specifically. And so when asked how frequently the 19 participants used Explorer, 37% indicated weekly use, 21% indicated monthly use, and 24% uh, reported using Explorer just a few times throughout the year. Here we're looking at the popularity of different search strategies. Search by dataset type is most commonly used with 95% of participants reporting using this approach as a common search strategy. And then search by space and taxa were tied for second most used with metadata and time ranking third and fourth respectively. We were also interested in better understanding data discovery approaches once search results were returned. And so metadata, chronology, and samples tabs were most frequently used. However, over 50% of participants also reported using the diagram tab and downloading data extracts for use in other applications. Over a third of participants also link off to the DOI landing pages for additional information on the data sets. To more systematically assess the usability of Explorer, we adapted the 10 system usability scale questions, asking participants to rank their agreement to seven positive and three negative questions. And on average, participants strongly or somewhat agreed to all positive questions and strongly or somewhat disagreed to all negative questions. So for example, all participants agreed that most people could learn to use Explorer quickly, and felt confident using the application, whereas participants generally disagreed that Neotoma is unnecessarily complex and cumbersome to use. The overall usability score was 77.6, which is actually in the 80 to 84th percentile and considered a B plus or good from a user experience assessment perspective. We also asked participants to rate their agreement to five utility focused questions and on average all participants strongly agreed that Explorer improves data access, enables better understanding of environmental change, facilitates interdisciplinary research, serves as an irrelevant educational research resource and supports a broad community of researchers and educators across the paleo sciences. Finally, participants were asked to offer specific suggestions for how we might improve Explorer's usability and utility in the future. 
and themes emerging from the qualitative feedback really focused on enhancing data visibility, extending or better promoting various search capabilities, extending the ways in which users can download data or figures, incorporating more data and data types, and implementing new or long promise features, right, such as the embargo manager. We've heard a lot about that at the Neotomo All Hands so far. So then part three of the survey honed in on the Neotoma 2R package. And here only nine of the 20 survey participants reported using the R package. And of those nine, one participant reported using the package daily, which is awesome. 56% reported using it monthly and one third reported using it a few times throughout the year. When asked which query strategies were most typically employed, all respondents indicated using the get downloads method and over three quarters of respondents reported also using the get data sets and get sites queries. For the R package, we also asked the 10 usability questions. And while time doesn't permit digging into all these right now, one interesting trend is the strong agreement with wanting to use Neotoma too frequently, contrasted with the general disagreement to the question asking if most people could learn to use the package quickly and the extent to which technical support is needed to use the package. And we'll see some ideas for improving this in the future work slide coming up. Similarly, for the five utility questions, um, these were again asked in the context of the R package this time. And on average, there was strong agreement that the Neotoma 2 package improves data access, enables better understanding of environmental change across both space and time, facilitates interdisciplinary research, again, serves as an educational resource and supports that broad community of researchers and educators across the paleo sciences. So participants, again, offered specific suggestions for how we might improve the R package's usability and utility in the future. And themes emerging from this round of qualitative feedback really emphasized enhancing learnability, which we saw in the usability question responses, extending vignettes and filtering capabilities, and refining the data download capabilities. So the final part of the survey sought to better assess how a select subset of the Neotoma community is leveraging the API and their scientific workflows and application development efforts. And because we only had four participants reporting using the API, we chose only to summarize usability and utility insights. And with respect to usability, a couple of key takeaways is that overall participants agreed that various functions of the API are well integrated and the syntax of the endpoints is consistent. And participants also reported wanting to use the API frequently. Two areas for future consideration, though, include reducing the overall complexity of the API and identifying opportunities, again, to make it easier to use. With respect to utility, all participants strongly agree that the API improves access to paleoenvironmental data, and on average, participants also agree that the API enables better understanding of environmental change, facilitates interdisciplinary research, and supports a broad community of researchers and educators across the paleo sciences. However, participants somewhat disagree that with the statement focused on survey as an educational resource, which isn't overly surprising, right, given the primary goal of the API isn't necessarily to directly support education, but to, to build new features and support scientific workflows. And so in summary here, just many thanks to the 20 members of the Neotoma community who engaged in the study to help us evaluate Neotoma's three quarter data access and delivery components. And insights from the study will definitely guide future development efforts and improve usability and utility for all. And I look forward to sort of chatting about more of these insights in the breakout sessions. Thanks, everybody. Thank you very much.